It isn't just the lives that tragically have been lost, it is also the lives that have been so grievously shattered in Afghanistan. Every one of them is a member of Her Majesty's Armed Forces, and the Queen has always taken a close interest in their well-being. And so in a week when Britain has been reminded once again of the price being paid in Afghanistan, the Queen was shown the remarkable work being done at the Defence Rehabilitation Centre at Headley Court to help those who've suffered life-changing injuries. Playing a game of boule in the grounds of Headley Court was a young soldier from the Duke of Lancaster's regiment. Jack Plant is 23. He's from Burnley in Lancashire. He lost both his legs in an explosion in Helmand province in 2010. He said he owes his recovery to Headley Court. They've given me a damn good chance of a second laugh. They've brought me back from being led in a hospital bed and not being able to move too much to being out walking about with my stubbies. So, yeah, they've helped me in a massive way. His friend, Anthony Cooper, lost both his legs in the same incident. He says the rehabilitation has given him the confidence to aim high. I want to do Paralympics. Ne no, the next Paralympics. If not, I'll do one after that. So how important to your recovery has Headley Court been? Very. Massively. I mean, if you weren't for Headley Court, I wouldn't be able to do anything. It was the Queen's particular wish to come here today to see for herself the kind of care and rehabilitation that's available to casualties from Afghanistan. Britain may be preparing to withdraw combat forces from Afghanistan, but for the many hundreds who've been injured there, their personal battles will continue. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, at Headley Court.